Hello. This edition right here is for exponent operations. We're on the very last little bit of exponents here. It's when you do a power to a power. That's when you have something like something to the second power to the third power. Algebraically, it would be x to the a to the b power. And when you get a power to a power, that's when you get it to multiply the exponents. Again, kind of like we've been doing previously, let me show you how to do a couple problems, then I'll explain why we multiply those. Okay, the first example, x to the fifth to the fourth power. You have a power to a power. This is when you get to multiply. Five times four is 20. So the answer for this is x to the 20th. On this one here, x y to the seventh to the fourth, a lot of people want to write x y to the 28th. But you have to recognize that there is a one there as an exponent. It's an understood one. So one times four is four. The answer for this is x to the fourth y to the 28th. All right, why do we multiply the exponents? Let's go back to the first one, x to the fifth to the fourth power. If I were to write seven to the fourth power, you would tell me that means seven times seven times seven times seven. You would write it out four times, wouldn't you? Well, x to the fifth to the fourth power, that means x to the fifth times x to the fifth times x to the fifth times x to the fifth. So with x to the fifth written times itself five times, what do you do when you multiply exponents? You add the exponents. Five plus five plus five times plus five, that's 20 or five times four. All right, so that's the reason we multiply the exponents. All right, the third one I threw out here, I threw out one with a number in it. Again, remember, even numbers have exponents of one. So when you do this, you've got to multiply that one times the two. So this equals three to the second, and three times two is six, x to the sixth. Now, if this is something you can easily calculate, 3 to the second, 3 times 3, that's 9. If it's something you can reasonably calculate, we're going to calculate it. Leave any 3 to the second doesn't make any sense. If we look at the, the next example with a 1, 1 times 7 is 7, so that's 4 to the seventh. 7 times 5 is 35, so that will be z to the 35th. 4 to the 7th is a humongous number. 4 times 4 is 16, times 4 is 64, times 4 is 256, times 4 again, 1,024, etc. You just, it would get to be such a large number, it's a lot easier to leave it as an exponent. Anyway, that's when you're doing a power to a power. Just keep in mind that this is when you multiply exponents. All right, take it easy and good luck.